Okay, this is my Petsu Kucha. I started by looking at the brief, so I interpreted forest as more than meets the eye. Good thoughts suggesting a positive message. Folk tales are stories that link to culture and typically have a meaning behind them. And I interpreted better world as new or changing ideas. So I chose to do my project on changing views of death. Death is seen as quite taboo, it's something that we tend to fear, so my plan is to look at death in different cultures, religions and over different times to gather an understanding of people's views on death and how they sort of impact how we see the world. So I started by looking at religion. So there's two main ideas, the idea of a heaven and hell. So after you die, you get judged and you either go to a good place or a bad place. Or the cycle of rebirth, where once you die, your body gets reincarnated into a new form, depending on your karma, which is how good or bad you've been. Um, then I looked across different cultures, focusing more on ancient cultures. So I looked into Egypt, Greece and the Aztecs. But I plan on looking into more. And I also looked throughout time, focusing on England. So here we have the Middle Ages when the plague was everywhere. This is the Tudors, um, which involves beheading, where death is seen as a punishment. This is taken from the Victorian era, um, where illness was very common and the life expectancy was very low. Um, this was taken from uh, one of the world wars during the trenches. Um, I plan to go into more detail on my Google sites for each time period and hopefully we'll add more. Um, so this brings me to the idea of change, um, that our opinions, our views are constantly changing and we're influenced around uh, by the world around us. Um, Reese, I looked into different case studies rather than artists and I thought that was more relevant. So up in the top we have Robert the Doll, which is a doll supposedly haunted by a spirit. And in the bottom we have um, supposedly the ghost of Anne Boleyn found at Hever Castle. Uh, someone supposedly photographed her hand um, so I'm excited to go into more detail. I then looked at a creator I found on TikTok. Uh, her name is Sol Marie and she's an artist but she also collects haunted dolls. So these are the first two that she's got, Gilbert and Gloria. And she was actually able to draw them um, because they apparently visit her in, uh, in her dreams. Um, and then I also looked into cases of people remembering events from past lives. So this boy claims that he's the reincarnation of a man from over 50 years ago who um, became a quite powerful Hollywood agent. Um, I plan on looking into this further as it supports the idea of reincarnation. Um, I also looked into how the paranormal influences our world. So over here, um, these two girls attempted to murder their friend to appease a spirit known as Slenderman um, quite a few years ago actually it's a really interesting case um, 
and it I sort of indicates how death is linked to the paranormal, things like that. On this side we have the case of Eliza Lamb, who was found in a water tanker on the top of the hotel, um, Cecil Hotel, sorry. Um, there are rumours that she was playing a paranormal game in the elevator that led to her death, but there are many theories that disprove this. Um, I looked into this painting by Ivan Kramowski, I hope I'm saying that right, in 1884, um, as it displays grief throughout the Victorian era. You can see through the paintings, um, not much has changed for funeral services, flowers were very common, and I plan to look into, um, life after death in the Victorian era. I also plan on basing my work on the Victorian era. Um, I visited an art gallery and took a liking to this painting. Um, and I also found this piece, which is a recreation of a historical garment worn in the Victorian era from about the 1870s onwards. Um, I was looking more for the fabrics and details used like tatting for the lace. And then we visited the Manchester Museum and I, they had a couple of, um, what are they called? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, exhibits based on the Egyptian, so I took the opportunity to learn more about practices after death in that particular period. Um, during the Victorian era, uh, women were expected especially to have a set mourning period and this altered what they wore and how they acted. I found this very interesting and I'm going to be using this as a focus for the project, um, responses to death and sort of how they've changed over time, etc. Um, I decided I wanted to focus more on the 1850s to the 1860s, uh, categorised by crinoline, which is the big hoops underneath. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm choosing to focus more on evening wear as I feel death should be a celebration of our life rather than just an end. Um, I also researched into how Victorian fashion could be fatal, so crinoline was quite known for setting on fire and once it was on fire the you couldn't do anything about it. Corsets, if the boning snapped and impaled the woman, that that was it. Um, so again, bringing it back to death throughout history. So my plan is to research Victorian fashion in the 1850s to 1860s, begin the work on the undergarments, so that's the chemise, drawers, corset, crinoline and any petticoats as they will take time. I plan to visit a cemetery. I'd like to research statistics and causes of death uh, to see how they change over time and research myths surrounded by surrounding death like um oh I can't remember. Uh yeah. Um so while the concept initially seems quite dark, the idea is to sort of suggest that death isn't everything and you have to live your life before it's gone. Um, I'm trying to present the idea of hope and suggest that death is not something to fear. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, bye. Scary.